The problem reads, find the distance from the point A301 to the plane 3x minus 2y plus z equals 1. Let's see this geometrically, and then we will solve algebraically. So here is our three-dimensional space. Let's draw our point A301, so 3 on the x, 0 on the y, and 1 on the z. There's our point A. And here is our plane. And of course, distance requires two points. So we need to find a point on the plane that's closest to this point A. How do we do that? Well, a line passing through A that's normal to the plane will give us the closest point. So we need to find a line passing through A that's normal to the plane. So the first thing we do is find a normal to the plane. So there's a directional vector that's normal to the plane, and then we make a line that's parallel to that passing through A. Then we're going to look for the intersection of that line and the plane B, and finally we will find the distance between A and B. So that's our plan. So as we said, we have our point A, and we need to find the point B, and then we can use the distance formula that is the extension of the Pythagorean theorem. Right. So we said, how do we find the point B? First, we need to find this normal vector. And how can we find that? Well, the, well, the coefficients of x, y, and z here are actually the components of the normal vector. So the vector normal to the plane has components 3, minus 2, 1. And now that gives us a directional vector for the line passing through A that's normal. So we'll write that, and we'll call this line P. Now we have a point and a directional vector. That makes P equal to, and let's put this in parametric form like usual. And so we have equals x, y, z, equal, equal, equal. We get our coordinates of our point, 3, 0, 1. And then we write in these from the normal vector. So plus 3t minus 2t and plus 1t. And that gives us the equation of p is x equal to 3 plus 3t, y equal to minus 2t, and z equal to 1 plus t. Now we have the equation of p and the equation of the plane. How do we find their intersection, which is exactly that point B. Well, we can substitute x, y, and z into the equation of the plane, and we'll, we will have an equation in the one variable, t. So let's do that. So we have this 3 times x, which is 3 plus 3t, three minus 2 from here, times y, minus 2t, plus z, which is 1 plus t, equal to 1. This is an equation in one unknown. We can solve it. So 9 plus 9t plus 4t plus 1 plus t equals 1. So we have 14t equals minus 9. So t equals minus 9 over 14. So t equals and we get a calculator, and we have 9 divided by 14 equals plus minus. We're going to round to two decimals, so we have minus 0.64, so minus 0, we'll write in front, 0.64. So that's t. Now we substitute t into here to get the coordinates of b. So here comes b. b equals and we have x equals 3 plus 3 times minus 0.64, and y equals minus 2 times minus 0.64, and z equals 1 minus 0.64. Let's get our calculator for these. And we have, we have that number. We'll just put it in our memory, memory store. Multiply it by 3 equals plus 3 equals 
1.07. Next one, we have memory recall times 2 plus minus equals 1.29, if we round that properly. The last one is memory, not memory recall, and then plus 1 equals 0 0.36, 0 0.36. So this is our point B equal to 1.07, 1.29, and 0 0.36. So now we have two points, and we can use our distance formula. Delta equals giant square root. And we have, we're going to use this as our base point. So 1.07 minus 3 squared plus 1.29 and it's minus 0 and I'm running out of room so we're just going to write squared plus 0 0.36 minus 1 squared. Get out our calculator again. So 1.07 minus 3 equals squared is 3.72 square root 3.72, then 1.29 squared is 1.66, and the last one is 0.36 minus 1 equals squared 0 0.41, 0 0.41. Okay, add those up, so 3 Point seven two plus one point six six plus zero point four one equals five point seven nine square root five point seven nine equals square root of that two point four one two point four one is the distance between A and B and it looks just about right. So that is our answer.